Who does most of the work in the kidney? Out of your entire nephron, right? Your proximal. Your proximal convoluted tubule reabsorbs about two-thirds of sodium in water and potassium. It also reabsorbs like 80-90% of all your bicarb, right? It reabsorbs most of your glucose. So most of the work is really done by proximal convoluted tubule. So we need to understand, first off, to identify and learn about whenever we say proximal RTA, right? Proximal RTA is called type 2, right? Proximal is type 2, and this here is going to be your distal convoluted tubule, which is going to be called type 1. Now, who came up with this number? Why did they start off with number 2 and then go backwards to number 1? What is this? They couldn't come up with 1 for proximal and 2 for distal? Make things confusing for us? It's actually not. You know why that is? Because 1 was discovered first. When they discovered 1, they never knew about 2. Okay? That is why they couldn't take the one and move it here. That's why one remained one when they identified the second one came two. Why not three? Three exists. Three is a combination of type one and type two together. It's both proximal and distal. We don't like it much in the classification anymore, therefore we don't speak about it much. But three does exist as a combination form of type two and type one. But the only reason your type two comes to proximal and type one comes to distal is solely because these poor guys identified one first. Did they drop the ball? They didn't. They just identified it in that order. That's all it is. Okay? So, what we need to understand is simple physiology. 